Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie, and I want to give you a few key ways that you can be very successful with your time in the classroom. You have already blocked out time to be there. You have paid your money to be part of this class. And let's be sure that you learn the skills that you need to and get the knowledge you need to to be a very successful interior designer. One of the first things I want to ask you to do is to be timely in your getting to class. This is a great way for you to practice a very easy professional skill, and that's being on time. I, it's important for me that you're in your seat, ready to go, because I like to get started right away when class gets started, and I've got some great things to talk about, good things for you to know. So being timely is gonna be very important. There are three other things I want you to remember while you're in class. I want you to be a good listener, I want you to be able to ask questions, and also to be engaged. Let's start with that being listener, a good listener. It's really important that you're able to hear the things that are going on, assimilate the information, perhaps you're taking notes, and to ask questions. These are two very important properties that interior designers need to have. Just think for a minute. If you were meeting with a client, how would you best be able to get information from them? You'd ask them good questions and you'd also listen to the answers. Two key things to providing this client exactly what they need in their design for their designs. So in the classroom, you're going to be listening and asking questions. The other thing that's important to me is that you're very engaged. You're really with us in the classroom. For example, I think the cell phone needs to be turned off. You need to remember that the world's gonna happen without you. You're here in class to concentrate. You're here in class to do the very best you can. And in the classroom, you're not only gonna be listening to a lecture, but we're also gonna have team time. Team time's an opportunity for you to talk to your peers, to talk in a small group. Those of you that have a hard time talking in a big group, here's a chance to talk in a small group. Those of you that are good talkers, ah, here's a chance for you to listen. The other thing is, I always have an in-class activity. This is kind of like a lab. We're going to apply the things that we're learning. We're going to take that topic and do something with it. So by the end of class, you will have talked about the topic, you will have listened to the topic, you will have seen pictures about the topic and done something. All of those are ingredients to learning. And that's your goal here, is to learn new skills and to be knowledgeable. Know the why behind design. So, Look forward to seeing you in class.